All right, it's time for another how-to video. Today I got a uh, I got a couple over here that they want to know how to hook up two dual voice coil subwoofers at one ohm at a one ohm load on a mono block amp. And uh, they're newlyweds. And uh, let me introduce you. I got Barbie, Mr. Turtle over here. Got their new car. Got a little system here. Now their problem is those are uh, single voice coils, so this isn't going to work for them. But hopefully they'll learn something and uh, and be able to hook up a good system in their car. Don't be prejudiced. I see you getting prejudiced. Don't be thinking a turtle and Barbie can't get married because in this world anything's anything's possible. But anyway, here's what we got going and here's what I'm going to show you with. I got my two 12 inch ground zeros. Dual voice coil. If you look down here on this guy, you got a voice coil over here. And you spin around here. And you got a voice coil there. Same over here dual voice coil and they're dual 4 ohm subwoofers so dual fours and then over here we got my MA audio amp might be a little glare on the name it doesn't matter what the name is and it is a mono block subwoofer this is the power in the grounds and uh, the remote one channel mono blocked that's all you need so remember what we're doing here we're hooking up two dual four ohm subwoofers at one ohm on a mono black amp now I have another video if you have single ohm subwoofers uh, I'll make a link here shortly and uh, show you how to go to that but if you have a single voice coil four ohm subs then you can only go down to two ohms not one um, you need um, you need dual voice coils uh, four ohm to get down to one I know that's a lot of omen and ones and twos and all that but um, yeah let me show you how to, uh, this is this is real simple I'm gonna show you real quick how to do this and I'm gonna try to explain it as simple as possible okay what you do you got your two subwoofers now these two can be laying in a box you can even pretend they're they're sitting in a box it's just an invisible box what you want to do is take your first subwoofer you want to take your voice coil to your right over here and hook your positive and negative up with a regular speaker wire say this speaker wire hook one to the positive one to the negative now I got a red see that red stripe on that right one there hook that into the positive so you remember hook this one into your negative over here then what you do is you take your other side of your wires that doesn't hooked anything and do the same over here you're hooking positive you're hooking up your positive to your positive and your negative to your negative sorry about the bad lighting I didn't feel like busting out my shop light out of my out of my shed so kind of got to improvise but positive to positive and negative to negative with your speaker wire I mean the speaker wire can be split in half it don't even it don't even have to be together like this but just make sure you hook up red to red black to black then what you do is you come from here and you you make a like a jumper cable Zzzz, same thing positive to your positive and negative to negative and then zzz, same thing positive to positive negative to negative right into your amp same thing so it's like a big bridge it's like what you're doing is you're building a, a bridge you're building a bridge uh, from your negative zzz, you're cruising over to this negative from that negative another wire zzz, to this negative same thing zzz, runs right along the bridge right down into your negative of your amp same thing with positive um, I'm gonna hook it up real quick so 
you know, if you don't understand to this point, I'm going to hook it up and maybe you'll understand even more. And uh, it's, always ha it's always handy to have, uh, have one of these around. A little, uh, like, amp kit. You got your crimpers to, you know, strip your wires. You got to get that wire stripped. And needle nose pliers, electrical tape, all this stuff is handy when it comes to working with car audio. A bunch of little, uh, little kits like this usually come with little connectors and stuff. And trust me, you can use them on a lot of things. But um, let me hook this wire up real quick. I'll hook them all together and uh, hopefully uh, maybe show you another example or a better example if you don't understand yet. Okay, now I gotta I gotta start out with a disclaimer here. Um, I don't have any speaker wire that I wanted to just chop to pieces for this, so I just use scrap scrap pieces of speaker wire and stuff. So when you do this, use all the same size. Don't be I wouldn't. Don't be like hooking up like twelve gauge and then like eighteen gauge and all that stuff. Don't mix your wire sizes. Make sure all your speaker wire is the same size when you do this. But just so you know, on this example I have different sizes and different kinds of speaker wire because I speaker wire ain't free you know and it sucks to just hack it all to pieces for for a video even though video is important and this is important but I, I have to save my my good rolls of speaker wire so so you know use all the same size of wire and preferably the same the same kind of wire uh, no matter how good or how cheap it is um, okay so here we go your first subwoofer starting from one side you'll notice you have let me get a good view here you got two things coming out negative into negative and positive into positive that wire leads right around right around here to this side positives in the positive and the negative in the, is in the negative and then you have to squeeze you have to squeeze a um, another set of speaker wires in there and on these terminals it's pretty hard um, now on the other kind of terminals you they usually oh, I forgot to get another speaker but um, you 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 kind of get it if you have the other style um, the positive goes to the positive and the negative negative but um, with these kind of terminals it makes it kind of hard to stick all the wire in but cram it all in there and then you'll have that speaker wire coming out and I got it pretty long because I didn't want to chop it all up and it goes over here negative to negative and positive to positive and um, then I have different speaker wire again and I, on these kind of speaker wires I like to use like the blue for the negative the dark is the uh, the negatives and the lights for the positives that's just how I remember I don't know how everybody does it but that's just how you do it and then that this loops right around here same thing I got that the blue wire going in my negative there and uh, my my positive and the positive and then I use some other scrap wires to show you the red is the positive of course and my blue is my negative going right into the amp there to the positive and negative so you just bridge them all you know you hook them all together all the positives together all the negatives together so um, that's pretty much how you do it I hope I explained it as simple as possible um, sorry I can't show you I'm working um, I don't have them in a car right now. I'm actually working on a big project, so these guys are out right now. But if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, uh, feel free to ask. I always check. See you next time.